Hi, I'm Ralph Hogan, and um, uh, my wife and Allie and I have, for the last 35 years, been minimizing our rubbish to landfill. Um, and we've done it in the past through recycling. Um, like, um, you know, really being careful as to what we would purchase and uh, avoiding plastic packaging whenever we could, you know, bulk buying whenever uh, we could, um, either using our own containers or getting things in paper. So much of what was recycled, we were shipping it over to China. Well, that doesn't make any sense. And another thing is that we grow m many of our own vegetables, not all of them, but we, we get all our salad greens from the garden out and back, and uh, some of our vegetables and some of our fruit. So hi, my name's Kirsty and I'm the project coordinator here at Innovative Waste in Kaikoura. Um, and a lot of my job is doing a lot of education um, around the community and in the schools to try and show people the white way to recycle and how we're trying to come more um, zero waste here in Kaikoura. So when it comes to your, your tin and your alley, which is your food, like your beans and stuff like that, it goes in a full circle, so it, it's fully recyclable. So it just gets melted down and turned right back into those tins that you see in the supermarket. So tins and alleys are really, really, really good. Um, as long as well as glass, glass can just, it's, it keeps getting recycled over and over and over again. And it sticks to that same grade. Um, so it's really pure way of recycling. Plastic doesn't have that same longevity that it, once you recycle plastic once, then it's that's the end of its life. And we have to stop buying plastic. <laughs>